bring you here today to talk about, I don't know, compound schedules, right? Compound schedules. These are the things that everyone has trouble with. Compound schedules. Well, um, there's a deep, deep irony in compound schedules, and I would like to explain it to you. First off, we're going to talk about something rather simple. We're going to talk about um, multiple schedules versus mixed schedules, and here's the irony. The irony is, is that people have a really hard time discriminating between mixed schedules and multiple schedules. And why is that an irony? Because the difference is the discrimination <laughs> is really... I know it's a bad behavior analysis joke, but it's great! Anyway, so the point is, is that in one of them, you have discrimination, you have SDs. You, you can discriminate when your schedules are changing, in the other you can't. So would you like to know which one it is? Because I sure would. Hold on. Oh yes, I remember now. <laughs> I can discriminate. All right. Um, so a multiple schedule is really simple, right? So a multiple schedule is what we tend to refer of as like everyday life. It's really common. Why? Because you do something and you get paid for that thing, okay? Or something, right? So we get we get have money. So I go to work um, here and I record videos and then I get paid basically nothing. And now you think that's not literally like basically nothing um, because first off we don't draw paychecks from this stuff at all and so there's no payment so the reinforcer must be something else anyway so I know when I'm in front of the camera and I'm recording videos um, then I go to my other job and I do OVM type work and that's absolutely awesome I love my job and I get paid for that job and it's great so I am on a multiple schedule and I can discriminate when I'm doing what I know at work I'm getting paid X, and I know here I'm getting paid zero. I mean, a little bit. Um, and maybe there's maybe it's not about money. There's just different reinforcers here, right? So I can tell those things. And now if I go to work on a consulting gig or something, I can I can get paid a different a, a different discrimination, or there's a different discrimination to make, and I'm on a different schedule. It might be fixed. It might be variable. Who knows what it is? But those are multiple schedules. Now that's different than a mixed schedule. A mixed schedules flat out evil. And the reason is is that there no one signals to you when your rate of um, uh, reinforcement has changed. You don't know what schedule you're on. You just change it. Now I do this to my kids all the time. It's a lot of fun. So um, at home, we have to earn access to, oh, I don't know, the television, technology, the PlayStation, the Xbox, the iPad, whatever it is that they want to play with, the leapfrog, the, the, I don't know, whatever it is that they want to play with, they have to earn access to it, right? So some days I'm in a really good mood and you only have to have like a, well, I don't know, an FR4, whatever that is. So for a fixed, uh, yeah, FR4. So you got to finish four homework assignments or four chores in order to earn yourself 30 minutes of video time. Now, uh, video game time. Now, I could change that on the kids, and I do. <laughs> I just don't tell them that they have to do four things. Now I switch them to an FR50. Um, and they have to do 50 things before they get access. Um, and for those of you that are wondering about a ratio strain video, um, now would be a time to go watch it. Because if you don't understand what that would do to behavior, you have a problem. Anyway, um, beside the point. So with the mixed schedule, there's no discrimination when you change the schedule for someone. It's really hard to come up with examples of this uh, because you often don't know it's happening. Because it's mixed, you don't know when your schedule is changing. Um, so if you do want to go back and read the first or first or in Skinner text on schedules of reinforcement, you will see all this stuff and you will see that these things are there and you can see that the organisms eventually figure out that they're on different schedules of reinforcement. My kiddos will eventually figure out the difference between an FR4 and an FR50. Now, they'll probably figure it out pretty quick and they'll be functionally put on extinction and I'll get all sorts of variability in responding, um, but we're not going to talk about that today. But um, anyway, you get the idea, all right? So that's really your core difference between a mixed schedule and a multiple schedule. Multiple is discriminated. The organism, the learner can tell when you've changed schedules of reinforcement. And in a mixed schedule, they can't. Other than that, they're the same thing. They're basic schedules. They're put together, compound put together, right? Um, and then you link these things all together. And that's, that's all there is to it. It's just a discrimination. So if you're having trouble discriminating, it's really a discrimination that you're having trouble discriminating. And that's all you gotta do is discriminate the discrimination.